Hi, I am Chen. In this tutorial, we are going to create a realistic floating paper. Okay, let's get started. Here I already created a box. This will be the region of particle generator. Let's go to uh, particle system, creating a particle in your pin. We need a two group, one called dust. Another group called trail. In the master dynamic, we add new dynamic steps. Generate position ball. And I need the balance position. Okay, pick up the box and uh, see. And now I play the animation. You will see the particle is generated from the region of the box. Now go to your position bomb operator and uh, change the group to dust. And because we want this a uh, crystal shot. Change this to crystal shot and uh, type in type in term. And we don't need the speed. And increase the lifespan to two hundred. Okay. Now let's create the force. Let's go to space wrap and. Uh, Blur's particle dynamic. Let's create a random walk in your scene. Select your thinking particle, use find to space wrap, find to the random walk we just created. Now in thinking particle, let's create a new dynamic set. Create a dust group and add a standard force. Connect and uh, activate this random work. Play. Now you see the particle is uh, moving randomly, but uh, it's too fast. Now I want to visualize the trajectory of each particle. Let's create a new dynamic set. Create a dot, dot group and uh, generate position ball. Let's call this uh, position ball, change the group to trail and uh, particle uh, generated by second with the speed set to zero. Okay, and now let's uh, increase its lifespan to 200. Now we not only see the Particle, we also see the trajectory of each particle. Maybe change this to dot, enter. Now let's uh, tweak uh, the parameter of random walk. Before, uh, remember to turn off this edit on the fly of your thing particle. And as you can see, the default setting of random walk particle speed is one, and the viscosity is one. Because I think this particle uh, moving too fast, and let's decrease the particle speed. Let's 
make it uh, 0 0.01 it looks like this let's see if I increase the viscosity so you can see when I increase the viscosity the particle um, will have a more random movement more curvy. Let's make it uh, 40. Let's increase the number of the initial particle. Uh, make it uh, Okay, as you can see, when we increase the viscosity, the particle seems to attract to a certain um, specific point of the region. It is not bad, but uh, it's not very natural. So uh, we can uh, increase this uh, work, percent of work, to avoid this effect. Let's increase this work to 85. So uh, the particle is um, still attracted to the specific point, but uh, it's not very, not so obvious. So uh, make it 45 and variation 10. Also for the viscosity variation 10. And I want the movement to be more slow, so I decrease the particle speed. Zero point zero zero one. So now the particle is extremely slow, but uh, the movement is curvy. Let's go back to thin particle. And um, here we can increase the initial speed of each particle. Variation to 180 and uh, increase the particle speed a little bit. Let's make some variation of it. I think I satisfied with this. So now let's uh, add our geometry. Open up your thinking particle and uh, in the first dynamic set, add uh, standard shape and uh, geometry instance. Connect these two and pick up this in the scene I already created uh, this represent a paper I pick up and remember to turn on the show mesh let's uh, decrease the number this can turn off the trajectory for a while. Now we don't need to see the trajectory of our particle. Okay, so now we see our um, paper is um, floating, but um, we need a more random rotation of it. So let's just add uh, 
alignment for our particle. So now it's uh, random. A random rotation in the space. But we need uh, some uh, spin during the movement. So let's add uh, another fast spin. And uh, let's make a spin axis to uh, direction of travel and uh, variation of degree to maybe 20. Uh, spin time variation 10. So now it's moving and uh, spinning. Okay, um, I want to uh, add more uh, effect to our paper. Here I already created a, a wind force, standard wind force. I want this paper uh, not only just uh, moving randomly, but also uh, in a way moving up like floating up. So uh, let's select any particle and bind any particle to this wind force. Okay. Go back to the any particle. See our standard force. We have a wind wind force. Let's check this uh, wind force and uh, maybe increase the strength of the force just a little bit. So you can see the turbulence of the wind. It's making effect. Now the paper is uh, floating up. Um, I want to add another force to give it more realism. Let's give it a drag. The lighting particle and bind to this drag force. Go back to thinking particle and activate this drag. Now the movement of our paper is uh, more realistic. Let's re increase the number of paper of our particle. Let's make it double. As you can see, when the paper flies up, uh, each paper may penetrate each other. Let's add another um, dynamic set. And uh, this time I use a shape collision, let's see. And set the group to dust. Let's play. Okay, it freeze because in the SC down below there is a deactivate time. 
velocity threshold and rotation threshold. Let's make all this zero. So now all the paper have a collision between each other. Let's make the dust uh, dynamic friction and static friction to zero. Now it looks realistic, but some of them are penetrating each other. You can um, play around with the um, position bone. There's a random seat. There's maybe maybe a chance that uh, the particle will not penetrate, but still, there's another way you can do it. Let's create a new dynamic set. Go to operator and uh, initiator, P selection, and let's add another one, this um, particle die. And use the P selection, you can manually pick up uh, which um, particle which penetrate each other, and uh, use this uh, particle die to delete it. So I can manually pick up the one who is uh, in the street. Okay, looking good. So uh, the final thing is to um, Go to uh, Master Dynamics, then. Master Dynamic and uh, view re Viewport Rendering Subframe. Let's uh, make this sample per frame, sample per second, make it uh, 112. So um, this will give uh, more pre precision to the collision. Okay, I'm satisfied with this and uh, Thank you for watching this tutorial and bye-bye.